Hey guys, Funk Roberts from FunkMMA.com. I'm here with Eric Wong from EricWongMMA.com and today Eric's going to take me through a hip flexor stretch. So this is a, I call it the 3DF hip flexor sequence and there's a lot of different details to this. And it's not just stretching the muscles and I'll break it down as I take Funk through this. It's the first time he's going through it. Yeah. so. It'll just be like me training you and doing it. That's right. So you're gonna step into your into the band with your left leg there. Right. Yep. This is great for kicking, grappling, all the flexibility needed for those activities. Okay. So now you want to step back, so you've got a little bit of tension on the band there. Okay. You don't need a ton of tension, especially when you're starting out. If this is the first time you're doing it, you don't need a lot of tension when you're doing this. Okay. So always step that back just a little bit more. Step this leg forward. Okay, now the first thing you want, you want to start in a bent position. So bend that way, so flex the hip, and then squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes as tight as you can. From there, you drive forward and get the stretch into the hip flexors. Okay, so right now he's straight, he's lined up straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This positioning here, this plane motion. So you're going to hold for five seconds, squeeze really tight, breathe, keep a good posture. Okay. Yeah. And then relax for about 10 seconds, but stay in that stretch. We're going to go a little bit deeper. So what we're doing, this is called the contract and relax stretch. And what this does, okay. what we did there, is strengthen the glutes at that end range motion. So bringing this into hip extension, okay? Now, we're going to get you to scissor your legs. So bring your knee towards your foot, and this foot towards your knee, and activate the hip flexor there. Okay, but there's no movement, you're not sliding your feet or anything. So you're activating the hip flexor right in the front. Five seconds. Breathe and relax and go a little deeper into the stretch. Yep. You just kind of sink into the stretch. Now you're really getting into it because all the muscles are relaxing because of the contractions that are happening. Okay. So now, after about 10 seconds, we're relaxing into the stretch. We're going to back off again. So flex the hip. So just back it one off. Back it off. Yep. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to internally rotate because we've got to get all these different positions in the hip. Not just the straight position, but all the different positions. To maximize your flexibility, and this is especially important for kicking, because whenever you kick, right. you need all that rotation, internal rotation, to be able to pivot and move the hips. Okay, so we're going to internally rotate, kick that foot out as far as it can go. Okay, we're not too far right now. We'll get better once it starts doing this. Then squeeze the glute again, tight, drive the hips forward. So enter that range of motion. Keep the glute on. It's really important. Keep poking your butt to keep the glute on. So you know it's on. Five seconds. Breathe, good posture. And relax. Move to the stretch. Sink into it a little bit. And then scissor the legs again. Bring the knee forward and this foot back. To activate the hip flexors there. Okay, five seconds. Keep breathing, good posture. And relax down deeper into the stretch. Okay. And hold it there for about ten. So we've strengthened the this range of motion, that's rotation, that's neutral, that's and then you get back on the And we're getting that strength so that you can, you're not only stretching, gaining flexibility and length and through the tissues, but you're also strengthening it so you can get into that range of motion and get out. So you can use it. If you're no, 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 coming out there, yeah, you could. That's, that's the one that you can obviously want to switch both legs. Yeah. But what happens is if you just do, and you feel like yeah, that's what you're doing. So what happens is if you're just stretching, you're just doing traditional, conventional, static stretching, what happens is you're lengthening the muscles, but if you're not gaining strength through the contractions that we're doing, the brain automatically will tighten those muscles back up. Because if you have range of motion, gain range of motion, but you don't have strength in that range of motion, the neuromuscular system doesn't want that because that is an unstable range of motion. You can't get in there, you can't get out of there. Right, right. So your brain just tightens those muscles up and it's always a game of cat and mouse. Yeah. You never really get permanent gains yes. in your flexibility. Okay? Right. So this, the contract relax on both sides of the joint, so the antagonist and the agonist, is very important to maintain flexibility as you do work. The band there is, we're using that, and this is something that I learned from Kelly Stark, and it's something, it addresses the hip capsule. You know, that's a whole other topic. Right. I think we should do that in a different video. Yeah, we'll do that in a different video. Yeah, we'll get into that. This has yeah. been long enough. It's, it's great, man. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, the 3D, 3D, 3DF hip flexor sequence. Just, just one last thing. We were just talking to a couple of guys that have used this for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I think your whole system, but um, it really helped our kicking just quickly.
Yeah, so I had a couple guys, I had some beta testers where I was coming up with this stuff, and I basically had them measure how high they could kick on a heavy bag, tape it off, measure how high that was, and then after two weeks of doing the program that I gave to them, uh, they're gaining anywhere from four to seven inches on various kicks, like round nose kicks, yeah, side kicks, front kicks, uh, front kicks, front kicks, front kicks oh, wow. a bunch of different kicks. Amazing, so, so it's perfect for any any combat sport, whether it's Muay Thai, kickboxing, karate, um, you guys yeah. will be able to use this, uh, this type of thing. Anyways, yeah. thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Alright man, so Funk Roberts, Eric, Eric Wong, Get it done.